Hello YouTube land, I'm Sarah and it's time for another adventure of being Sarah. I have a craft update. Um, Peter is around here somewhere. He may or may not show up in the video, but he's being kind of, well, antsy when I tried to film. So, we'll see if he appears. But, um, it's mostly cross-stitch that I have gotten done um, in the past like month and a half, but... Um, I also got a pair of socks for my sister done. Um, I used uh, some one skein of uh, Tea Party Felici. Tea Party? Tea Cup? Tea Party? Uh, yeah, Tea Party. It's This is all that's left of that one skein. So not much at all. And um, she very much liked them. I used the Hermione's Everyday Socks um, because I wanted to see if I could get her a whole pair of socks out of one skein of Felici. Which, yay! Um, I did four inch legs and she likes them very much. And I haven't had much of a cross stitch bug in the last year and a half, two years, since about 2015 between uh, yay knitting socks and yay spinning and then a lot of controversy in the cross-stitch groups, I kind of really haven't had a stitchy bug. However, I did join a local um, cross-stitch group uh, beginning of 2016. A Facebook friend um, had added me to the group, and then I started going, and they have like local and not quite so local meetings. Because some of the members live an hour, two hours away, so it's nice to go and visit them. Um, so the April meeting was on April 22nd. It was in Lexington, but I just really just did not feel like going out of town. Um, I think it was the same weekend as the old Liberty Fiber Fair, which I didn't go to either. Um, but I had done a post saying, I'll be stitching with you guys virtually, or, you know, I'll be stitching while you guys are stitching. And so I had started um, a very small kit um, has a little frame. I haven't actually glued it in, so I'm going to hold it. Um, but I did, I worked on it for like three days and I got it done. And normally I don't like all block stitching or all one color stitching, but this is just so cute. Um, so even though the Ada was a bit stiff and my fingers really did hurt afterwards, um, which was more due to the stiffness rather than mm, disuse. Um, but I got this adorableness done, and the picture had it centered more this way, so you could really see the line. And I'm like, no, no, no. We're going to make it look so he doesn't look like he's cut off. So I still have to glue that in so that he doesn't fall out, and then I can put it up someplace. And then I decided I wanted to stitch more, so... One of the projects I had done um, is this uh, Bewitching Cross Stitch by Joan Elliott. And I had started um, the, there's this one particular wizard guy. I have not started this one. However, the crystal ball that he has, there's optional ones for it. So there's an owl and a unicorn and a dragon and a castle which is the ones that I think the castle is one. Castle? Is it castle? Yes. I swear my memory's getting so bad sometimes. So I had already previously done the dragon and that one's completely done. And um, you can kind of see that it's sparkly fabric. And so I had some other ones. So I had started the owl, but I have not gotten very far with that. And so that's not really an owl yet, but it eventually will be an owl. <laughs> As to when that eventuality is, I don't know, but eventually. And then I worked on... Um, I do, I have a lot of haids started, and one of them is a pregnant fairy, and it's called Expecting, and it's a full-size one, but it only uses like eight or ten colors, and it's really pretty, and I had decided that I was going to only do one line of a at a time being printed off, so I was like, oh yeah, that'll work, 
And this is what she will look like eventually. Um, so like the first row is like here and then there. I think there's like five rows or something like that. So I have not gotten very far on her at all because, you know, it's going to take a long while. Not sure what that's from. Um, but I did finish the entire top row of pages. Yay! So there's that. Oh, good. I was like, oh no, where'd the pin go? That could have been painful if I, you know, put my hand down. Um, and then let's see, one of the ones that I had started as a um, stitch along in the cross stitching, it's my thing group. Um, uh, I call her Megara because I think that would be a cool necromancer sort of name. Um, it's a little hard to tell from black and white, but she's got skulls and that sort of thing. And it's uh, Quick Stitch Nosmogi, which was from the uh, 2013 Hay Built and Board Stitch Along. And so I did do some of her. Not that you can really tell much yet. But you can tell that's where the um, sky is, and that's where she is. So that's got quite a long way to go. But one of the ones that I also, I, I have another finish. Um, back in 2013, there, in one of the hate groups, I think it was the official one at the time, um, people were really interested in doing the, there's some artists that have a very heavy uh, black line look to them, like it's a, like a cartoon or comic book kind of look to it. And so people were doing them just the outline only, which really did look kind of cool. And so I decided, hey, I want to do that too. Um, so the one, I don't have a picture of it, but the one that I picked was um, Quick Stitch Tag Along um, by Hannah Lynn. Uh, yeah, Hannah Lynn. And so I did uh, $9.95 for the mermaid and Glow in the Dark for the penguins. Um and doing the mouth and the face was a little hard because there wasn't actually black lines, which I found that out after I bought the chart and started marking it up. But either way, we have this, which looks really cool. So that's a finish. Yay! Yay for finishes. And the last one I have for this particular update is um, the actual name is Quick Stitch Lotus Wood and the full size version of this particular one looks like this and years ago back in 2008 or so I guess it was 2008 something like that I had uh, started playing my very first Pathfinder game, and I was playing a uh, gold dragon bloodline sorceress named Tanith. And of course, I then found this particular one. And even though Tanith's read it, but she has she has used magic to make her hair blonde before in game. So it's okay to use this. Um, so I decided that this is what one. This basically is what Tanith looks like. And I started on September 1st of 2009, and I really haven't gotten terribly far. Yes, let's not unstitch or unthread the needle. But I have been working on it, and I have gotten through the first row of pages. And my goal at the moment is to get through the second row of pages, so she'll be half done. And then, of course, to finish her, I had, I don't think I'll get her done by September 1st of this year, but hey, there's not really a deadline, but I would definitely like to get her done as soon as possible. Um, but uh, she's being stitched over 25 count over one with full crosses, two strands each. And uh, this bit in the corner, there was a challenge in the Heaven and Earth Designs group. Uh, last year, at the beginning of the year, where you challenge yourself to do different, like, 
stitching techniques, if you do part or if you never did parking or this was the diagonal thing. Um, I'm not really a fan of it, um, but I will go eventually and mirror that on the other side. So that way, if one side looks funky, the other side will look funky too. And it's, it'll be in the dark color, so you won't notice it that much. But yes, I am currently working on this part um, with the uh, light purple. I did quite a bit of her. I've, I pretty much stitched on her most of the week. And that is what I'm going to do after I get off of here. And I caught him. There's Mr. Peter Dragon. Little brat. Say hello to YouTube. No, I don't want to. Okay, be good. Okay, so um, my next video that I have planned is the Unpopular Nail Polish Opinions one. Um, but I'm not entirely for sure when I'll film that. And then... Uh, I have no idea. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of my adventures, subscribe. Um, if you want to leave a comment, okay, just be nice, you know. Don't be a jerk. You know. As in everything in life. Anyway, so, I'll see you for the next adventure. Okay, bye!